Welcome to Primary Science with Miss Devita. In this video, we're going to talk about pollination. What is pollination? To understand what pollination is, let's study this picture. From this picture, we notice that a flower has the male reproductive parts and the female reproductive parts. In this picture, the male reproductive parts is represented by this one, the anthers, which produce the pollen. And this pollen will be transferred by the help of a pollinator to a female part of a flower that we call as a stigma. So here's to say that pollination happens when the pollen grains is transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or different flowers. From the words pollinators, now we come to a question. Do all flowers pollinated by insects? Look, this is a zoomed picture of the pollens. What is pollen actually? Pollen is a fine powder made up of small pollen grains. It can be transferred by the wind or animals such as insects. Some plants produce lots of pollen during certain seasons. Some people are sensitive to the pollen. It may cause them sneeze, have a runny nose, and itchy eyes. In general, there are two methods of pollination. The first one is pollination by wind. The second one is pollination by animals or insects. And now we're going to start to talk about pollination by the wind. The pollens are tiny and light because it will be easy for the pollens to be carried away by the wind. And if you notice, the flowers, they have small and dull colored petals, but some flowers even have no petals and they are unscented. And now we're going to talk about the flowers which are pollinated by the insects. They have pollens that are sticky or spiky. It is because the pollens have to attach to the animal's body. Look at the picture. You'll see there are some fine powders attached to the animal's body. And then the flowers, because they need to attract the, the insects to come to the flower, they have to get the colorful petals, nice scents, and the nectar. And bees, butterfly, moth, and wasp are important pollinators. Some flowers uh, which are pollinated by insect not always have a nice smell. Some of them have smell like rotting flesh. What are they? Look at this. Titanarum plant and Rafflesia, they attract flies and beetles by their bad smells. These insects help to pollinate the flowers. And now, let's talk about self-pollination versus cross-pollination. Let us recall the parts of the flower first. You see this word? Stamen. Okay, stamen, these are the male parts of the flower with uh, contains of the anthers and the filament okay while for the male parts of a flower this is what we call it carpal or some reference call it as pestils this contains of the stigma tile ovary and the ovule but you may notice that not all flowers have the male and female parts in the same flowers some flowers they have uh, they have the male parts and the female parts separately, or maybe because of some situation, the pollen from an anther is transferred to the different stigma of different flower. Okay, now let's talk about this kind of pollination one by one. Self pollination. Look at the picture. Uh, in number one. Pollen comes loose from the stamens, and then on number two, a pistil of the same flower collect the pollen. So you'll see here, 
the pollen comes from this uh, anthers and then it is transferred to the stigma both of the stigma and the anthers they come from the same flower so this is what we call it self-pollination oops sorry that was my bad now let's talk about cross-pollination in number one pollen from stamen sticks to a bee as it visits a flower to collect food and in number two the bee travels to another plant of the same type and on number three pollen on the bee sticks to a pistil of a flower on the other plant so you'll see that the here the anders here and the stigma here right they come from different flower so this is what we call with cross pollination we are almost come to the end of the video and now it's time to sum up pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the under to the stigma of the same flower or another flower and flowers may be pollinated by wind or animals such as insects so guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on my next one